So I'm, ju- I'm just going to say a cu- couple of things about uh, Bet or relating to that. Um, the, f- the first one is, is a sort of update on YouTube Red, because we went on about this a lot on uh, Tuesday. And I've since discovered there has been a report in the Telegraph that uh, YouTube Red will be available in the UK. But I don't know where they got the story from. They don't quote anybody other than to say that Google didn't comment. And uh, I think Google would be their source, if there was a source, as to what YouTube is doing. I, d- I, I don't know how this is supposed to work because, um, as we said on Tuesday last last year, we went to bet and asked them what was happening with U- YouTube Red in the UK, uh, the, the Google stand, and they said, oh, well, um, YouTube would know the answer to that. They're not here, and uh, we, we don't know. So that was all a bit... Um, bit difficult I, I think if there is a, a trade show and people are there in real life you can actually talk to them it's a reasonable question well especially now the telegraph has made a, a report is it is it actually true and if it isn't true why not because um, if you haven't been following all of this YouTube Red is an option to subscribe uh, to YouTube, not just Google Music or whatever they're calling it, and the ads disappear, which I think is an excellent thing. And it means that um, I'd, I'd feel quite happy about uh, monetizing video, because so far there's, there's lots of not very good video, well, made on low resources, low production video, let's say, um, not not just from me on, on uh, Will, Will Pollard as... Uh, on YouTube is the channel um, but lots of people are, are making uh, casual video let's say and obviously the production standards could could be improved if there was some sort of income but advertising I, I think it's just got so annoying it it can't carry on in that form for much longer you would think but um, hmm, anyway sometimes things do but anyway the the subscription option I think should be there if that was a possibility in the UK. Um, what the what the Telegraph story did say, which I, I didn't realise, was that it isn't just in the United States that YouTube Red is available. It's also in Australia, uh, New Zealand, South Korea, and I think Mexico. So uh, it's it's gradually spreading. There's about a million and a half people who who are subscribing, and I think it something that ought to be available in the UK whether it's just Google or whether it's the record companies that are involved in it and working it all out I, I don't know but the, the the area where I think it would be uh, especially relevant to bet is that there's there's quite a lot of conference material uh, that is sort of available but maybe not in other words there are conferences or speakers before a conference make a make a short video with a sample of what they're going to say, or somebody does a, a sort of video on the day, and again the, the the production quality varies, understandably because there's probably not a budget, and it's thought that it helps promote the the real life conference, or a book or something. There may be some money from somewhere, but I would have thought if the if uh, the people who are going to spend a hundred or two hundred pounds on a on a conference uh, would also spend ten pounds a month, uh, something like that, on a YouTube subscription. Uh, they would get a lot of other stuff as well. And whoever uh, recorded the the video for that that event would make something. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying they'll make a make a a, a a a massive amount as if it was a Minecraft tutorial or something, but. Um, it, it's a possi- it's a possibility, which at the moment just seems a great mystery, uh, and I, d- I don't think it's quite right for Google just to sort of make announcements, and meet in real life in the United States, make stuff available all all over the world as they choose, in a mysterious manner. I think when we get to bet, we ought to be able to go to the stand and say, um, what what is all this? Um, and we've also thought about going to the the YouTube space uh, at. Uh, King's Cross on the way back uh, so we're, we're probably going to go there for Wednesday and Thursday at the show and Friday making our way from 
sort of Tower Bridge area, back towards Paddington, via King's Cross. And um, there there's a there's a wonderful building. I, I did have a look at it. It's got a sort of foyer in the middle, and it looks like YouTube on one side, and it looks like Google on the other side. And then there's a, a, a reception desk in the middle. So if, if we still th are told, having been at Beck, that... Um, Google don't really know what YouTube are doing, something like that. Uh, we could go to King's Cross and go to reception and try and work out whether the reception is, well, what, what, we'll just see. We, we might see what happens, but I think probably um, there's still a couple of weeks. I think there will be some information available from somewhere uh, as to what, what is, what is going on. Now, where, where, where did I, where have I got to? I've now got into complete confusion as to what, uh, what this what this is i'll play I'll, I'll play this track and and talk about it afterwards <laughs> 